Let's Barbecue. Today we're going to do a swine apple. We got a nice, big, beautiful pineapple. We're going to do four or five of these today. Uh, if you haven't had them, they're fun to try. Uh, we'll knock it out, so we'll show you how to do that. Uh, kind of a family favorite. So we're just going to take the end off both ends of that. We'll kind of try to cut as straight as you can because we're going to put that back on at the end. So we're going to take off the top and bottom. Give us enough to just hang out. So okay, we've so we got the top and bottom off of that. We're just going to quarter it now. So I'm just going to lay it on the side. And if you can just kind of see around that core, I'm just going to try to go all the way around that and just cut a nice circle around that core. Don't get too crazy because you'll rip through that. But can you just get a nice little core all the way around that? I get my knife. It's a big pineapple. My knife doesn't quite go through. But uh, we're just basically coring that out. It's so big, I gotta come the other side. So we're gonna hit that, try to match up a little bit. It'll work. That thing's juicy. See that juice squirting out? All right. So hopefully we've kinda got that thing cored. We're gonna pop that core out and then uh, we'll trim it up. I'll show you why we wanted that core out uh, in just a minute. All right, pop that core out. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go, maybe. Like a little fat kid wants candy, he doesn't want to let go. All right, done. So cord up, looks nice. Nice hole through that, you see that? There you go, we're gonna like that later. So now I'm just gonna peel that outside off. I'm just gonna shave off my outside. It'll just take you a second to clean that up. If you don't do a very good job the first time, and you gotta do it again, so listen to your wife the first time and just do it right. So anyway, we're get that knocked out, and I'm just gonna trim it up there a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's uh, there you go. So I'm gonna trim, trim that a little bit. This guy's kind of like the leaning tower of Pisa. He's kind of I should have picked a better one to show you, but that's all right. Here's the nice thing about Big Love Barbecue, dude, we're real. Kind of a one take one, or it works or doesn't work. You know, we just cook. We've been cooking for 20 years, smoking and grilling longer than that. But anyway, what it is is what it is. If we can show you how to do it a little better, make something fun, that's what it's all about. It's America, you can smoke, cook however you want to cook. So that thing's cleaned up. I'm gonna take some brown sugar, and I'm just gonna sugar this thing up. I'm gonna dump it down that hole, get some come out the other side. You're thinking that was a waste. You're right. I just wanna get a little sugar on this little dude. I got, like I said, I'm doing four or five today, so that sugar laying there, we'll clean it up on the next one, so it's not a big deal. All right, get a little sugar there. Throw a little sugar down the hole. Boom. Is that like you're mixing it? There you go, a little concrete or something. All right, that's done, sugared up. Now we're gonna wrap it in bacon. Here's the first step of our swine apple. So obviously the pineapple is the apple part, I guess, because I'm not putting an apple in there. Bacon, we know is our friend. So we're gonna put some bacon in. We're gonna make a little bacon weave. You guys probably know how to do that, but if you don't, we'll uh, show you real quick. We're just gonna lay that bacon down. We want enough to cover that. You know what I mean, so kind of eyeball that thing up. Four is probably enough, so we'll do one more because there's no such thing as having too much bacon. So now we're just gonna cross those the other way. Uh, you just gonna pick up every other one. I'm gonna lay that across the top. I'm gonna pull that back. There we go, first one's easy. Next one, you don't do the opposite. I'm gonna slide those all the way up. And like I said, if you already know how to do a bacon weave, fast forward a little bit, you'll probably miss two jokes, but that's America, you can catch them later. So there we go. Next one, same thing. I'm just gonna keep doing a little, uh, my little bacon weave, grab the opposite two, throw those up, bada bing, bada boom. It's like uh, that basket weaving class that I took in college, saved my GPA. Kind of the same thing right there, dude. Just a little, making a little basket weaving. Throw those down, throw the next two up, throw another slab of bacon in there. This pineapple is on its way. I don't think I need another one. We'll tuck in those ends if we have a little too much. Uh, anyway, there we go. So this guy, you kinda gotta work fast because that 
that uh, brown sugar sweat so fast. We'll clean that up a little bit. So I'm just gonna throw my swine apple there and I'm just gonna try to wrap this little puppy up. So I'm just gonna wrap it, roll him in, the, roll him around there, pull that as tight as I can. It's gonna be close, but I'll use these extra pieces to kind of finish that off. So I'm gonna roll him over, tuck those others back in a little bit. Now, you're thinking that's a bad job, but if it's too much, I can just take that top off. And I'm gonna use these, and I'm just gonna tuck them in the side. It's fine, they're all gonna come together. On the back side, I'm gonna take a couple uh, little toothpicks and just tie this back in. My wife's trying to see me do that. So I'm just gonna take that over there, wrap it around, run a pick, leave it hanging out, nothing worse than leaving those things in there and whacking somebody, so. I'm just gonna pull this one around. And uh, same thing, I'm just gonna stick a little toothpick in there. Pull this next one around. We're on kind of patch. So if I got a big hole like that, just, there you go, wrap it. So I'm gonna tie that bacon in with the toothpicks and uh, then we're gonna get ready to stuff it. All right, dude, that's the ugliest bacon we've ever done in my life, but that happens sometimes. I got a old bulldog my mom always thought was ugly, but I thought it was awesome. So now we're gonna stuff this thing through. So we're just gonna pick that thing up, put that, I got the bottom on top, that's all right. Boom, there we go. So like I'm doing four or five, I'll show you a better weave later, but that's all right. So I've got that in there now. I'm gonna stuff that with just some pork. I've had that marinate. Uh, we did some, uh, some teriyaki on that, some Korean, uh, kind of a little Korean barbecue teriyaki sauce stuff that I like. So we're gonna stuff that full. You can put any meat you want into it. We're gonna do some pulled pork tomorrow. If I did it yesterday, I would have filled some with pulled pork. I mean, you can do whatever you want on those things. But stuff some good pork in there. Get it, get it full. You want it nice. So we're going to stuff that full. So there you go. See if it comes in there. Like I said, we got our bad looking weave. That's like one of those old dudes roaming around town with that bad weave on there. Nobody dares tell him it's bad, but I'll tell myself it's bad. Now we're going to skewer that thing back on. So we're just going to take a big old wood skewer. We're just going to run that down the side and uh, all the way through until it hits the bottom. But when you think it's bottom, push it again, there you go. I'll go over there, do another one. I wanna try to get it through my pineapple. I don't wanna split it, cause that sucks, but, but if it does, it's not life and death either. Okay, so we got that all the way down. I'm just gonna do three of those. I have one more, kinda get in there tight and uh, Get scratched up a little bit, but you're all right. So I'm gonna push that thing down. So now I've got three of those things locked into the bottom. Now I'm gonna take it, throw that on the smoker with his buddies. Like I said, we're gonna make four or five of those. I'm gonna throw that on the smoker at 275. It's gonna take about two, three hours. We're just gonna get that internal temperature of the pork done. So anyway, we're gonna make the rest, throw that on the barbecue, and we'll show you a little better looking one when they're done. All right, we got our swine apple done. They look great. Takes three hours, about 275 on that smoker. We said that 275, three hours. Uh, your porks, you want your internal temperature at least 145. We're about 149. Uh, make sure it all gets cooked up. So I'm just gonna pull my skewers out. And uh, if you should kill them the other toothpicks later for me, I just throw them away. So I'm gonna slide those out. That's gonna pull my top and bottom off. I don't need my top anymore unless you want that presentation. If I serve them, then I'll do that. There's a good hunk on there. I'll eat that still. And then you slice it. So that's what you're looking at. Get that out of your way. And you can see the pork in there. Nice and juicy marinade. Our pineapple, just nice. It hasn't got jacked up at all. Uh, the bacon, you need a little thicker bacon and then it'll stick on the bottom. My, my bottom bacon kind of went away. Uh, Anyway, so use a little thicker bacon. I knew that, but just didn't do it. You know what I mean? That's life. And you just want to take these and slice them as thick as you want them. You just get a little slice of that. And uh, boom, there you go. And you serve it just like that. Just get a little, you can go a little thick, a little thinner, however you want. 
And look at that. I mean, that is beautiful. There's your swine apple. Nice taste of cooked pineapple. There's nothing better than smoked pineapple. Stuff a little uh, marinated pork in the middle or whatever kind of pork you want. Bacon on the outside. Hey, that's money, man. Keep cooking. Subscribe to us. Big Lutz Barbecue. And uh, we'll catch you next time.